the next step you're either gonna love or you're gonna hate we're gonna pop the balloon so I'm taking my favorite popping device which is just a metal kebab stick literally and it's kind of muffled by the, the, the fibers on the surface, so it's not too bad. I'm gonna take your scissors and we're gonna cut a hole for the doorway so that the birds can get in. You see here, it's about, it's quite near the top, this one. It's up to you where you have it. You can either have it in the middle, towards the bottom. I'd suggest maybe not near the bottom because that's where the birds are gonna nest. So either near the top or, or, or the middle. I'll do it more middle because this one was, was more top. You have to just make sure you're only going through the front side and just cut yourself a tiny nick, like a split. You're not actually physically cutting a massive hole. And the reason being, this will stretch. And you can see already, I put my fingers inside there and it's already, and you can stretch it and pull it and it already goes from being a one pence to a 50 pence hole. And you should be able to find, if you stick your fingers in, your popped balloon. So you don't need that anymore, get rid of that. Oh, and a bit of sellotape if that's come away. So now we're gonna turn this inside out. And how we do that, it can be a little bit tricky, but the best technique is to grab with two fingers through the hole, anywhere on the inside, usually the reverse side, and then pull. Don't let go of this part here. And you're almost pushing, a bit like peeling a banana. I'm just gonna put this underneath because quite a bit of water coming out. Peeling a banana and kind of just pushing, rather than pulling the inside through, I'm pushing the outside back. And fingers crossed, if it's still soapy enough, it should be quite easy. And what you will be left with, and if you just pull at your string, which shouldn't come away because you put a knot in the other side, if you've got any string, just pull that through. What you should then be left with, just give it a little bang, a little shake is all those lovely yarns that you added to the balloon first time round, and now it's the right way round. This is going to be your final design and it should be really lovely and marbled and there should be no holes. Some of the, if you are, if you have got some, I've got some kind of thin patches. I haven't actually got any holes and hopefully you haven't either. Don't worry, we can fix those holes at the end if they are a problem, but it will shrink. So some of the holes or some of the thin patches will close up. They will shrink and, and, and there won't be a problem, some of them. So don't worry about it at this stage, just keep going. Next stage is we're going to dunk the whole thing now into your washing up bowl or if you're using a sink, just fill the sink with some water, do it that way. Can you see what I'm doing here? I'm literally a bit like I'm rubbing, I don't know, a t-shirt that I've had on while I've been in the garden and it's filthy, something like that. Give it a good scrub as if you're trying to get stains out. So rub it back against itself and you should feel it tighten up and begin to felt in your hands as you do this and keep dunking it in the water, keep filling it up and it should be super soapy. Keep going for a few minutes. And this is fun, enjoy this bit. You've done all the hard bit, all the hard work. This is where you get to almost there to the end. You're almost gonna see your final re result. Now I'm gonna take this under the hot running tap or warm running, running water. And I'm gonna get as much of the soap out as I can. This is how mine looks. Hopefully yours is looking something similar to this now at this point. And we just wanna reshape it. It's just lost the shape a little bit. It's nice and firm, it's nice and hard, but it's kind of just like a, a a banana skin that's been run over or something. So for that we're going to use one of your other balloons. So if you want to take one of your other balloons, insert the balloon through the hole. Just before you do uh, insert the balloon and blow it up, it might be a good idea to just feel for the string on the inside that you looped up into a bundle and tied a knot to, to fasten it off. You know, now's the time to undo that bundle, which is a little bit tricky because it's all wet. So you should be able to, from the outside, pull some of that string through, shortening it on the inside because you want that length on the outside. And I'm just going to tie a fixed knot on the two loose ends and then just pull from the outside and that should be nice and fastened and nice and neat and blow the balloon up. And try and get your balloon blown up as much as tight as you possibly can because what it'll do is it'll really push 
against the sides of your pod and it'll just bring it back to the shape, that lovely organic egg shape that you're after. Tie it off. And now this stage is up to you. If you're happy with how this looks and the way everything is fixed down, which actually mine doesn't look too bad at this stage, you can just dry it off. Dry it off with a hair dryer or leave it overnight to dry and remove the balloon tomorrow and it'll remain in that shape. What you can do, and sometimes this happens in some of my workshops, some of the fibres, for whatever reason, the yarns or some of the fibres, they're not quite fixed down. Or it might be that you're not quite happy with the, with the shape for whatever reason. You can come back to your washing up bowl at this stage and you can give it one last rub on this now finished, now that it's on the right side uh, and you can see everything and it might just help tuck some of those fibres in, smooth it over. So as before, do this for about five minutes, then take it to the sink. On this second lot of rubbing now, where it's the right side round, if your hole isn't big enough for whatever reason, maybe it's stayed small, you can always use some scissors just to enlarge that hole. Then give some special attention to this whole area, the little doorway that your birds are going to get through. And just rub it, get some soap and just rub it around the edges and just make sure it's all tucked in. You can stretch it with your fingers by getting your fingers in there. Make it a nice little doorway. Just imagine the birds going through that hole and just make sure it's big enough. And this can be as little or as large as you want. It's up to you. Just be careful not to pop the balloon in the process. So that's it, I've done my final rub on the outside with a balloon in the soapy water. I've popped the balloon on the inside. I've rinsed it under the tap, under the hot, under the cold water. I've given it a really good rub um, and now it's kind of really wet and really damp. So uh, before you insert your final third balloon and dry it off or, or leave it to dry, you can actually just use your towel and the towel will not only help dry off any excess water but it'll actually help to the felting process too. And the way I'm doing this is I am literally, you can, it's not going to lose that shape now, it's been felted into that shape. I'm just rolling up my pod in a towel, a dry towel, and I'm using it like, like a rolling pin. And after a few rolls, just remove it, give it a little tap, little bang. And this, this banging is also part of the felting process. It shocks the fibers into felting together. You can rub it on itself. You want it to be nice and firm, nice and hard. Hopefully you can see how much it shrunk too. Just a few rolls, just do this for three or four minutes just to get some of the water out and just help to compact it into, into a fully felted item. And now my last stage, the final shaping, is just to insert your third and final balloon, blow it up, blow it up as, as hard as you can and it might help to just rub the surface of the balloon. Oops. rub it to help it to take the shape of the balloon and then taking the metal spoon that I mentioned earlier this is a very felt maker -y thing to do I'm just pushing the bit of balloon that's popping out in the, in the doorway in the hole I'm just pushing that down and you're just burnishing the surface tapping and burnishing polishing the surface and you don't have to do this it's a very felt maker -y thing to do and what it'll do is it'll just really encourage all those fibers to take on that curved shape. Imagine if you were a, a woodworker or a potter working with clay, this might be something you would do to encourage the nice organic shape. The fun thing is that each and every time you do this, it's going to be completely different. Even when you use the same blend, the same mix of fibres, it's such a natural process that it really wants to do whatever, it's got its own mind, it's going to do what it's going to do. I'm just going to dry this off now with a hairdryer and then I'm going to leave it with the balloon in overnight, pop it tomorrow and I should be left with another complete bird pod to add to my garden.